Hello Virgo, it is uh, vernal equinox, meaning spring for the northern hemisphere. And I wanna get a look at what kinds of energies to look out for for each month of spring, April, May, June. I'm gonna pull one card for each of those months. And remember that these energies are not set in stone. We can adjust them however they come out. It's basically, it's just like, hey, watch out for this. Hey, watch out for that. You might, your life might be a little bit easier this season if you keep an eye out for that. So we're looking at the smaller picture and the big picture. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I am Michelle B. And if you're not already subscribed, Virgo, make sure and do so so that you can be in the loop for weekly, re weekly readings, monthly readings, readings, um, about purpose, prosperity, and love any old time, two or three times a week I post some, so make sure you're in that loop. Starting with April, Virgo, what's your energy? We got the energy of the Hierophant. You're really looking at the big picture. Remember what I was just saying a second ago? Looking at the big picture and the small picture, the Hierophant being a major arcana, it's all about the spiritual connection, making sure that you are keeping everything in check. I'm paying much closer attention to the, to this, um, to this pope or the priest energy than I am to the people that are watching. I really feel like people are watching you, and your spiritual connection, and they're in awe, Virgo, at how of how you got your shit together <laughs> that not I, f I feel like people are looking at you in the month of april as though you are this really honorable person this wise this wise person that can give them the advice that they need use that to help improve the quality of life of the people around you also use it to improve your own quality of life how can you benefit from people admiring who you admiring who you are and the honor and dignity in which you present yourself consider that you're an advisor you're a mentor how can you um how can you get the increase the increase your capacity to get to increase your capacity to get the word out and by increasing your own income in that process, you're increasing your capacity to get the word out, the good word out, for improving everyone's connection to a higher power, to the divine, to the universal, awesome, good spirit. Okay, so, so let's look at your energies for May. Look at your advice, your energies for May. We have the high priestess. There you go. Uh, it came out in reverse, which means that there might be some hangups, uh, glitches in the thing, but I feel like it was kind of, the energy is kind of in between. So here we have, between the High Priestess and the uh, Hierophant, we have the balance of the feminine and the masculine in connection with uh, God consciousness. <laughs> Well, I have never seen that. I have never seen both of these come out in the same reading before. And I've been doing a lot of readings for a long time. So this is really awesome for Virgo. It's like, this is speaking to, first of all, the high priestess being the feminine recipient of divine knowledge. She takes it in. There's no filter of someone else's consciousness between herself and the universe. So she's bringing it in, she's bringing the energy in, she's like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Whereas, whereas the Hierophant brings in the consciousness and puts it out into the world, right? So she's bringing it in, the, the Hierophant says, okay, so here's the knowledge and we, and we push it out. So it's either that you're finding that feminine masculine balance through the months of April and May of, of absorbing um, of absorbing the information from the universe and then putting it out or you're collaborating with someone where you're p playing one part and they're playing the other and you're working together so that's really really good I don't know what that means for you in mundane terms I have no idea what that means you're starting your own mega church here comes my train friend I doubt it <laughs> I doubt anyone who, who connects well who resonates with my readings is starting a mega church but I do feel like it's like a more a much like smaller, more mundane thing that is is being spoken to, and it's about uh, you know you it's just about improving the quality, the everyday quality of people's lives, and using 
mentoring people toward a positive path. Let's look at June. What needs to be said for June? Here's victory. The Six of Wands is being supported by a group. Well, there you go. This is interesting. I don't really know how all of that is, like, I don't know. You're, you're supported, whatever it is that you have. But I don't feel like with that High Priestess being right in the middle, I don't feel like there's any doubt in your mind that you're supported. So really, like, what I'm feeling at this transition of the season, the, the overarching energy of the whole season, April, May, June, is feeling in alignment with a higher purpose like you this your 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 spiritual purpose for being on in this physical uh, body and being excuse me feeling feeling fully aligned feeling able to communicate it with others and feeling fully supported by by your crew by your group and feeling like yeah like people love what you do and they want you to continue doing it and that's the best feeling in the world. To have both the support in the mundane world, the, like the physical world, and also the support in the spiritual world. People wait their whole lives for that, and there it is, right at your feet, Virgo. Love you. I'll see you later.